always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why I always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time Met you on a Friday Halfway out at the door Hello everyone, welcome back to to my channel my name is Renee if you are new today's video is going to be a New York City week in my life this is the first week of the new year and we're gonna make it super productive and exciting today it is currently Monday um, before we jump into the video though I do want to say a quick thank you to today's sponsor which is care of I keep looking over here because I have my package and I can't wait to open it um, if you guys are not familiar with care of they're basically a subscription service of vitamins and supplements it's a very personalized experience you can go online and take their quiz and they will guide you towards like the right supplements for whatever goals or needs that you have and with the new year coming up I'm sure we all have so many goals I like supplements that help manage my mood um, overall health all the good stuff so you can go onto their website take the quiz for free and you can see what care of recommends for you I've been a part of care of for about like two years now and when I first started all they had was like the little personalized supplements like little packages but now they have branched out and they do supplement powders they have like protein powders uh, I personally love their vanilla protein powder it's so yummy so yeah it's a really really great service if you guys are looking towards you know adding supplements or just health goodies to your New Year's resolutions I highly recommend to go take their quiz for free um, I'm gonna show you guys what I got this I actually used up all my other ones so this is awesome this is like the personalized supplements that you are recommended by care of they put them in these little pouches so you can just take one every single morning the one that I was recommended was ashwagandha which I've been taking I want to say pretty much all year since the last time I did the care of it really does help improve my mood and helps kind of just my stress levels I really like this because it's just easy quick and then they have like a little quote every day which is really cool so this one actually has a challenge this says take a picture of the sunset and send it to a friend these are amazing so these are the chill factor um, stress support on the go quick packs so basically they help manage stress which is amazing so if I ever have like a super stressful day I just knock one of these out they're like little almost like those little sugar things that we used to get as kids I also got some more super berry powder which is great so this is a lot of just antioxidants and goodies that you can add to your smoothies and stuff and then yay I have more protein powder so this is the vanilla protein powder it's really great super simple clean ingredients if you guys want to take your quiz and get 50% off your first order you can click on the link in my description box and use the promo code Renee highly highly recommend it makes like getting your new year's resolutions very simple because <laughs> it's all in one place it's like speaking to like a one-on-one -on -one nutritionist it's a really great service I think it's amazing and I've been using them for so long now so super thankful to have them as my first sponsor of the year actually so like I mentioned today is Monday I did get a little bit done this morning already I woke up this morning and I just had a lot of catching up to do in terms of email and computer work so I sat down for quite a bit and did that and then Noah and I went to Central Park and we ran in Central Park we had found like this little track around the Jacqueline Kennedy Reservoir we tracked it it was 1.6 miles around the whole thing and the views were spectacular like you get the most amazing views it was just such a great way to start this morning and like a Monday so we did that and then I came back got dressed took a shower we had some lunch and I went to go look at some apartments so I am kind of thinking about maybe going back home to Florida I've also been thinking about staying here in New York and I know that New York is not what it used to be but I feel like it's gonna get better here in the next little bit so I don't know like I, I've been told and I think about this quite a lot is like I came at such a weird time if you guys are not familiar I came in March last year like before I even know like COVID or anything was happening so I didn't really get what I came for so I'm thinking like should I stick it out for like one more year and see like the real New York and kind of experience it firsthand with the New York lifestyle I go back and forth every day but I was like let me just look at some of the apartments they have in my space right now because the prices have dropped like so much just because people are moving out of the city so I just think it's a really good opportunity to maybe find a better place um 
for like the same amount that I'm paying for like my studio. So we went to go look at some two bedroom apartments and they were oh, so great. There was one that was absolutely insane. It was like actually way too big for my liking, but it had like two walk-in closets, double sinks. The views were insane. The bedroom was crazy big for New York. It had an island in the kitchen, like it's crazy. So I'm kind of just talking. It's just up in the air, nothing too crazy. But yeah, that was my Monday morning and then I was supposed to clean yesterday, but we had, a, we had like a super chill day yesterday. One of my resolutions is to kind of focus on my work-life balance. So yesterday, even though I had planned to work, I was like, you know what? Life happened and I didn't beat myself up for it. So I just switched my stuff to do today. But I need to clean my apartment. Um, it's kind of a mess and I just, I need to like do a quick wipe down. And then I'm gonna make some dinner, nothing too crazy. But yeah, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> I feel so much better um I also cooked one of my new year's resolutions is to cook more and cook for Noah so if you guys follow me or are familiar with my vlogs you know that Noah cooks the best meals ever um but I always feel bad because I don't really cook and I really need to and I need to eat more like if Noah doesn't cook for me it's really bad I typically will just eat snacks and it's just so unhealthy so I want to always have like some sort of vegetable as well as like a main course I'm also a very lazy cook so I've tried finding recipes and all that stuff and it just honestly doesn't work like the simpler the better for me and I just learned to be okay with that so I just always try to incorporate at least one veggie so today we did um these like little trader joe's cornbread like chili spicy i don't even know what's in it but we did that i did that and then i made cauliflower mashed potatoes and then i did green beans i roasted them with a little bit of sea salt olive oil and pepper and then these breaded cod uh fillets that i get from trader joe's so i feel like i did okay noah said he's still hungry he said it was fine except for it. he wasn't a big fan of the cauliflower mashed potatoes but whatever i thought they were great but i also made it look so cute i did like this little swoop on my mashed potatoes and i served it with like a nice jazz ambiance like i went all out and i've been eating like this and like doing it for three days in a row now so every day this year except new year's day <laughs> new year's day i tried to cook like curry chicken it just didn't work out so we didn't eat that but i feel really great i'm like actually sticking to my goals so that's awesome and i feel full i'm finally eating like whole meals which is what i need i thought i would do a little unboxing haul with you guys i got some stuff that i thought was really cool so uh first things first is this i will link everything down below too um i found these on amazon so i am really weird about like my toothbrush um like being surrounded by like dirty stuff or like placing the brush on anything that can contaminate it and i had this ceramic cup but it was like almost like this clay like material so it would get like toothpaste stains on it it was just really gross and i tried to clean it just like wouldn't clean so i found these things how cool is this you can put your toothbrush like here and it'll stand up straight and it'll keep it fresh and clean it doesn't have to touch anything and it's super minimal these like little ceramic dishes are super aesthetic as well so i thought they were really cute and a good find on amazon i also found this on amazon so if you guys know or watch my vlogmas you know i actually got a new camera a new vlog camera but it is kind of hefty so bringing it around with me like i can't put it in my pocket like my canon g7x mark ii so i needed a like what is this thing called strap so when i'm out and about i can just like still have it but i don't necessarily need to hold it it's so bulky but look how freaking cute this design is it's like this kind of 70s style look it has this like mustard color which i'm a huge fan of with the floral print i thought it was so dope and it has like this leather like material here i think it's so cute so i'm really excited about that and then i got backgammon so on the way back home to florida Noah and i were like playing the games on the delta touch screen i've always seen backgammon i always thought it was like an older person game to be honest but it's so fun like i've always seen this style of game and i'm like i know what it is but i've never learned how to play it and he taught it to me 
it was so much fun it comes in this like box where you can close it up and i think you can like clip it so that all the pieces stay together but i thought that was so cool do you guys know how to play this i still haven't beat him or anyone for that matter because on the way back i played the computer and i made it on easy and i still could not win but i'll learn it's actually really really fun i really liked it and then i got this package from Too Faced. i thought i would unbox it with you guys i have no idea what's in it so they have this light my fire Ooh, on the fly eyeshadow palette look how cute this packaging is let's see what the colors look like oh this is so cute it looks like a little like match set the colors are so beautiful i like how it's a smaller palette i'm not a huge fan of those bigger ones anymore they're just they take up so much space and i use probably like a few those are very neutral toned though this one is called let's play and it smells like bubblegum these are beautiful again really neutral tones that i can use every day obsessed with these these are so cute i love this so light my fire smells like cinnamon and then this one is smells like berry these remind me so much of like 90s Ooh, these ones are pretty so these ones are a little bit more um kind of risky colors kitty likes to scratch smells like tequila sunrise this is really dope this is cool i'll definitely use that black one sometimes i use eyeshadow like this for like a liner i feel like it's easier to put on than like an actual winged liner so yeah i'll link all this stuff down below um i'm gonna chill for the night put away work and then i'll see you guys all tomorrow morning good morning everybody happy tuesday it is currently around like one o'clock i worked on some emails this morning i'm currently editing the first little portion of this video i think for weekly vlogs it's just easier to edit day by day rather than all at once and because i also have a sponsor for this video i had to get the sponsor out early for them um so yeah i'm having a really good productive work day uh, we, we woke up this morning and we watched The Bachelor, so I'm not a fan of The Bachelor. I used to be like when I was in middle school, high school. The last Bachelor that I watched was Rachel or Ben, whoever was, no, I think Rachel was after that. Um, and then I slowly stopped just because it was getting a little bit, I don't know, it's not my scene, I guess. But Noah knows one of the girls on The Bachelor. I used to party with her in college days, and he knew her, I think, like i i knew he knew of her like i never met her but when we first started dating like i remember he would go out and like hang out with her anyway uh guess which one she is victoria <laughs> he calls her though vicky uh like i guess she's a friend of a friend and he just like partied with her and i'm like she's actually kind of funny on the show to be honest because i know it's not i don't think it's like realistic but i asked him i'm like is this how she is in real life and he's like pretty much like she's just really i don't know he, he, it was just interesting he said to watch somebody that he knew like on tv and i feel kind of bad for her though because people are like ripping her on social media and stuff and i mean i think she's just playing a character that's like my personal opinion but yeah we woke up this morning we watched that i think matt is a really great guy i love that he started the ceremony with a prayer i thought that was just so down to earth and like probably brought a lot of the girls like nervousness and energy down a lot um and just kind of like grounded them and like something higher than that moment i don't know i just really liked that i feel like he's a good guy i really 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 like brie and i think um rachel she is so beautiful holy crap so yeah we watched that i don't know if we're gonna like keep watching it i mean who knows i feel like that show is such an addicting show like we just get wrapped into it and i'm using my friend's hulu account so it's like free i'm not like buying the episodes because they don't have cable do you guys have cable i feel like people don't have cable anymore um the only episodes that i really would pay for is like the challenge and we watch that every wednesday so yeah watch that and now i'm gonna finish editing this little portion and then we're gonna go to the gym It is currently Wednesday. I had kind of a chill morning again. I went to the gym and I did legs. So 
So I guess not really that chill, but um, I'm still shaking, but I decided not to bring my camera just because I wanted to really focus on working out. Um, and I did a little bit of strength training as well as like actual gym equipment. If you're new to working out or anything like that, um, it can be very scary and daunting to go to a gym. And something I did last year um, was get out of my comfort zone and do like the actual machines. <laughs> so. Uh, I don't know why I've always been afraid of that. I typically go to the gym and I just go into like a little room and do like my sit down workouts. But last year I made the jump to like go out and work out into like the actual workout space and get out of my comfort zone. And it can be so daunting. So if you are kind of like finding yourself doing that, I highly recommend to push yourself and do it anyway because you won't regret it. Um, and all the people that you see out there did it at one point and they were uncomfortable and they got comfortable because they figured it out and learned on their own. So if you feel that little voice in your head telling you, I'm nervous, like I don't feel comfortable doing this, I'm going to skip that, I'm like, just force yourself to do it. You'll look stupid, but no one's really paying attention to you anyway. I kind of had that weird anxiety again because typically I go with Noah. This morning I went alone and... I had like this kind of like weird anxiety, especially with like men around. I don't know why I don't like, they just like stare and it's really annoying. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to force myself to do this. I'm really uncomfortable. I don't feel like doing it and I don't like people looking. But again, I focused on no one's really caring about myself. They care about what they look like. They're focused on their own gym workout probably. And if they are looking at me, I'm not going to let them affect me. And even though I didn't know what I was doing, tried it out and I just felt so much better and I did what I wanted to get done. So if you're feeling a little bit discouraged or anything like that, if you're new to the gym, just remember they were there once and you're never going to get there if you don't just force yourself to do it. And if you just do one thing every time to kind of get you out of your comfort zone, you did enough, you know? You don't have to do it all at once. Like nobody knows fully how to do every single gym equipment there until you try. So yeah, don't let people intimidate you. Go do your thing and eventually you'll be the one intimidating other people. You'll be the one that everyone's like, oh wow, I, she's doing so good or he's doing so good. I wish I looked like that. Like that's gonna be you and it'll never be you if you don't go out and try. That's my little gym pep talk. <laughs> I just felt the need to say that. But like I said, I got ready. I'm wearing this like ET sweatshirt that I got from Nasty Gal. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. I really love it. Um, and then I'm wearing my Lululemon leggings because I have a lot of errands to do, which I'm actually running late for now that I think about it. It's the TSA pre-check. I have to go there and like, show them um, my information or something before I get pre-checked. We need to go to Lululemon. Noah got shorts for Christmas and Lululemon actually does free alignments with their stuff, which is amazing. So he went to go get them a little bit shorter. Uh, so we gotta go pick that up. I need to go to the post office and then I'm gonna go to the mall. I need a few things. I really wanna find some like really nice leather bottoms, like pants. I know a lot of people use the, uh, there's one at Aritzia, there's some at Zara, and then there's the Spanx ones that I know that a lot of people like. And then I want to get like a cardigan kind of sweater because I don't have that. And when it's chilly here, um, I just want something to like, like a throw, something to throw on and off. I need to get some long sleeve workout tops because it's freezing here and I only have like, just like cropped hoodies and short sleeve shirts. So I'm going to throw on my Uggs and we're going to do it. I just got back, um, we went on 5th Avenue. We just kind of like walked actually so many steps. 11,235 steps today. It was really nice to get out, honestly. Um, it was like freezing cold, but once we started walking around and stuff, it was really nice. And we went to Naya, we got some food. It was just a really chill day. I'll show you guys what I got. So we ran over to Lululemon, like I said. The first thing I picked up is this really cute kind of like cropped longer sleeve top. It almost reminds me of like a ballerina style top. It's like this navy blue. But I just love the fit of it. It's kind of almost stretchy. It's just very form fitting and very comfortable. It's called the LA Contour Slim Fit. I got in a size Four, and I honestly needed a size two, but they didn't have it and it wasn't that big of a deal. So picked that up and then I picked up this. I, hopefully this is still available. This is called the Keep the Heat Long Sleeve, but it was on sale. I got an extra small just because they only had an extra small. Honestly, I feel like I could have done better with an, ac an actual small. It's like this thicker material. And again, it's super stretchy, very form flattering. It has the 
open thumb here on this on the sleeve which i love because my fingers get so cold so i just wrap them around my fingers um and i just really like this i think it's really nice and it'll keep me nice and warm hopefully that's the goal and then i found this like this is not warm but it's like this cropped short sleeve with this little tie here um i saw this when i was christmas shopping for people and i was like oh my god i really need that just because it's a nice like mid-length kind of top to work out in i think this i know it's not long sleeve but i just saw it and i liked it so i got it for myself um, it has this line down the back of it, which I feel like, I don't know, makes it very flattering and yet super cute. And I feel like you can wear this with shorts, you can wear this with like longer leggings, and I really, really liked it. So I'm kind of like into that ballerina style, like the cropped, but very like cozy, comfortable, almost looking oversized, stretchy material. And then I headed on over to Aritzia. So I actually, I had to order these because they didn't have my sizes there, but the Melania pant is something I really wanted. I wanted since last year. Um, and they're like these leather pants. They're just so freaking comfortable. If you have an Aritzia near you, go try it out. They're super expensive, but when I tried them on, I was like, these are so worth it. They're just so freaking comfortable. And I got a size four. Um, so Aritzia, I, I haven't shopped there too often, but I was getting help from one of the girls who worked there and she was saying that you always have to size down at Aritzia. And then I got the super puff. So this is like what they're known for right now is that puffer coat and I got it in white. It is probably the most comfortable jacket I've ever worn in my life. Like the inside material is so freaking soft and I got an extra small again just because you need to size down. So those are my pieces. They're not here yet. Hopefully they'll come before. I don't know if they'll come before Friday but super excited about that and then I was looking for a sweater like I mentioned like an oversized cardigan. I didn't see anything that I liked. So yeah if I can find these clothes I'll link them down below for you guys. Good day. Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time Met you on a Friday Halfway out at the door of the club Playing so long the week Alrighty guys, we just got back we took a walk to Trader Joe's and got a ton of stuff. So we had to Uber back. I'm gonna show you guys like a quick Trader Joe's haul. We got a ton of new goodies, which I'm really excited about. This is insane, like crazy. This should last us about two weeks. So I'm gonna start to the left. I'm obsessed with these like salad kits. They're just so simple and quick for lunch. Um, so I haven't had this one yet. It's oniony kale slaw kit. It has like walnuts and stuff. It looks really good. This one we've gotten, it's so yummy. It's the Caesar salad kit. I think I've tried this like a long time ago, but I don't remember if I liked it. Cause I know that I got one from Whole Foods, so I'm not sure if I tried the Trader Joe's one yet, but it's a broccoli and kale slaw. All this stuff comes with little like goodies for the salad as well as like the dressing. Um, and then I got spinach for my protein shakes. We picked up some red soup, which we're about to go run down to Starbucks. They have the most amazing grilled cheese. And I was really craving grilled cheese and tomato soup. So yeah, pick that up. We got this. This is lobster ravioli. Uh, this is new. So we have yet to try this, but it's a spicy lentil wrap. I don't know what kind of bread this is, but it looks so delicious. Um, we picked up some steak because we're in need of iron. We've been, I feel like, lacking an iron. Uh, garlic powder. We picked up two of these ginger shots. Uh, some asparagus to go with our steak. Grapefruit is like now a must. We have this every single morning. Um, we picked up a random onion. This is the best cereal ever. You guys know the drill. This is something new that I've heard about. It's the grainless granola. I'm always into like grainless cereals just because they're so healthy. It has coconut, almonds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, and really good reviews. As for fruit, we picked up some blackberries, uh, grapes. Like I said, we got the grapefruit. And then these random things that Noah likes to eat. He finds like the weirdest shit and then he'll just eat them. But he said he's had those with kumquats. Are they cute? Are they uh, kiwi, babe? Is it like half kiwi, half something? Anyway, um, vegetables, we got some potatoes, again, to go with our steak. Uh, cucumbers, shishito peppers, rosemary. Noah's gonna concoct that with the potatoes. Okay, so now for the snacks. 
we did this thing every night where we kind of just like grab some salty snacks and sweets i have like a ton of snacks just organized and it's really fun like we watch a movie and it's like super cozy so we just like went all out with the snacks honestly um i picked up three of these coconut strips they are so good they're basically just coconut lightly sweetened with sugar i wish they weren't like with sugar but this is all they have for now um and i go through these like in two days <laughs> so pick that up these yogurts are amazing last time we had the banana and strawberry and this time we decided to try the mango and peach and then we got some mango slices candied ginger wafer cookies sea salt butterscotch caramels these look so good uh what else these are basically a take on peanut m ms uh this ritter sport hazelnut chocolate bar and then we got a ton of granola bars i'm really trying to like gain muscle and weight so i need to eat more and i feel like granola bars are such an easy way to get in like protein and fiber and just like a quick in-between meal snack so we just kind of stocked up on these um this is new i've never seen this before it's the peanut butter banana cook bar so i got one of those um, I really like these cool mint ones. And then this is a limited edition, but I feel like I've had this before. Oh, limited edition packaging. The white, macad white macadamia. I picked one of these bars up last time and really liked them. You have to keep them in the fridge and I kind of like that it's yummy and cool. They're very like filling, which I like. So they're called the perfect bars. The peanut butter one I've had. And then I picked up the dark chocolate chip and then the regular chocolate chip one as well. And then Noah picked this up. This is the Power Crunch bar. And then another great snack are these Chomp bars. They have turkey, regular, and I think a few other ones. But I really like the jalapeno beef stick. So I picked up a few of those. We picked up this buffalo style chicken dip. I've heard this is really good. I don't even know how to eat this, honestly. These are something that I've seen in a lot of YouTubers' <laughs> vlogs, and I just like that they're many. They're like mini ice cream cones. I have yet to try them, but I got the chocolate one. And then as for, <laughs> oh my god, chips. I've had these before. They're mochi rice nuggets. They're kind of sticky and like really good. And the uh, ingredients are so few it's rice palm oil sea salt and sunflower whatever the heck that word is um these i've had before too they're the honey pretzel sticks and last time we got um this it's the chocolate almond butter so noah wants to try that with that i feel like that's a good like combination we already opened these um but i read that these are like one of trader joe's top things to get they're really good they're just peanut butter pretzel nuggets this is the jalapeno corn and rice puff. These are my go-to. I really wish I could have like 10 of these, but I feel like <laughs> traveling with those would not be ideal. These are amazing. My favorite things from Trader Joe's, hands down. So we picked up two of those. As for drinks, we got some iced coffee, coconut water for um, our protein shakes, this random drink that Noah got. What is this? blood orange sparkling blood orange beverage this is their almond milk the chocolate almond milk i didn't know that they had chocolate almond milk cashew almond chocolate milk so i'm excited to try that picked up some orange juice for vitamin c and then for my frozen goodies i picked this up again a lot of you guys made fun of noah for putting honey on this but it was so good don't knock it till you try it if you put this in the air fryer and then drizzle some honey on it so good and then this is something new we're gonna try it's the roasted garlic and pesto pizza and i tried making this one time i wasn't a fan but again i went through and read kind of like the most popular things that people buy from trader joe's and this one always makes the list and i just need to learn how to cook it so i'm trying this again this is also one of their top things is the mandarin orange chicken so i didn't want the whole bag i just wanted a single serving so they have this bowl this is new cauliflower tot casserole and then buffalo style chicken poppers these look really good to add with like ranch or something noah's lamb um chicken pot pie this one looks so good too we got a different one last time this one looks more hearty 
um, and then some fish nuggets. Those are always really quick, easy meals. And then I picked up this plant to go on my fireplace. I had a pot there that needs to be filled, so I thought this would be nice with the dark leaves. And yeah, that's my little grocery haul. We're gonna run to Starbucks, get uh, the grilled cheese, and then have some tomato soup, and just be cozy for the rest of the day. Happy Friday! We are officially on the last day of the first week of 2021. And I feel like I did pretty good. I mean, I have done a lot of things without the need to kind of manipulate and control the situation like I'm not as strict with it but I have like these intentions and I'm like living with these intentions in mind and I feel like I'm doing pretty okay I woke up this morning and my hair looks absolutely insane look at this like I literally woke up to a cloud of random hair I saw my French braid in I look insane i'm very aware of that but i have just like a lot of computer work to do today so i just sat here and kind of finished up editing a little bit of the vlog that you're actually watching right now and i wrote down like my to-do list today so i need to go through and do a little bit more computer work uh go through my emails and stuff like that i need to figure out my schedule for next week because i do have someone editing wednesday's videos i have a walk at noon with my friend Haley. we're both like in the same space like we're both in social media and we both work from home so it's nice to get out and like take a walk grab juice and just kind of catch up and collaborate on like really good ideas and it's just really refreshing to do that i'm excited i want to go to the gym and do abs and then i need to finish this vlog i need to pick up my packages do the laundry I want to tan and then do my nails. If you guys have ever gotten gel nail polish, it's one of those things where you can literally just like peel off the, the layer of gel. Um, so once one of them comes off, I typically take off the rest. So I did that last night. I really want to redo my nails and I need to do my toes too. So we have a full day today of just getting things done. I love days like this. It feels like I'm getting so much stuff done. I feel very like productive, but I'm very like calm and at ease as well. I don't know how to explain it. taking a shower but it is the end of the first week of 2021 i got all my stuff done that i need to get done except for tanning and i need to go take a shower before i do that i had a really great week i feel like i got so much done and i got a lot of my habits and routines that i wanted to get done and implement this year i got it done so uh, just a quick little review of uh, some things that I did start implementing for 2021 is obviously a work-life balance. I have hired an editor to edit one of my videos every week um, and eventually hopefully like I'll get her to edit a little bit more but, but just for right now it's just one video a week and that has taken off so much of my plate. I'm able to like read more and like spend time with Noah and spend time with my friends. I was just on FaceTime with like two of my friends today which is like crazy because Typically when I'm working, especially when I'm doing three videos a week, I don't have time for anyone, not myself, not anyone. So I just, it's been really nice to put work away and like do things to make me feel better. I deleted my Twitter this morning. So that's something I haven't opened up to you guys about, but I'm trying to like limit my social media and live more presently. So I give myself an app limit for my Instagram and for, um, what else? Oh, it was my Twitter, but now it's deleted um, for, I think it's one hour per day. It's really nice because the app limit will tell you too if like you've surpassed your time. It's not like the app just completely goes away. Like you have an option to be like, give me 15 more minutes or give me one more minute um, or ignore for the day. Like if I have a busy work day on Instagram, like I typically will ignore it, but it's just been nice to kind of like put all that social media stuff kind of aside, still have it, but not 
feel like it's consuming me in my life uh the air conditioning just went on so please ignore that i've also been eating a lot of whole meals so that was something i need to i needed to work on i wasn't eating the best last year at all so now i've been eating like whole meals i eat like breakfast lunch and dinner and then snacks in between whether that's like protein shakes or just like goodies or something um and i eat at my dinner table for breakfast lunch and dinner we don't have technology we don't eat on the couch that much anymore it's just been really nice to be so present while we're eating and it's cozy you know and i get veggies in every meal or fruits in every meal so i've been eating very balanced and then i take all my supplements in the morning um so i've been really good on meal intake i've also been really good with going to the gym so i've been to the gym four times this week i went monday friday monday friday monday tuesday wednesday and friday i was wanting to do monday through friday but now i realize like i'm so sore from two days ago i need to like slowly work my way back up to where i was um so four days a week during the weekdays and then friday saturday sunday off would be ideal and then eventually i'll do monday through friday i've also had a lot of good quiet time so i have actually i learned this from a couple of like christian influencers i feel like a lot of them do like quiet time or meditation time i think it's so important especially when you live with somebody now that noah's here all the time it's just really nice to have my quiet space and just like me time with no phone or anything like that i like to do it right in the morning um before i look at any social media or emails or noah wakes up i just sit down with two of my journals which you guys probably saw recently in my videos, but I have the morning meditation, the evening reflection here, and then I have the question a day journal, which looks like this. And sometimes like I'll watch Elevation Church and like kind of journal out that stuff or read. I meditated last night, which is also something that I want to start implementing, but I'm not being too rigid on that just yet, but it was so nice to just be quiet five minutes. We also play backgammon every single night. It's been so much fun. I feel like such an old lady, but he just recently taught me how to play backgammon. It's so much fun. Uh, so my battery just died. Um, I guess my card is full, but I'll delete it. I'll figure it out later, but you guys are on my small camera now, but I don't remember. I don't know where it cut off, but I have quiet time now and it's just really nice and then i've also been taking care of like my physical body i think it's really important to work inside out obviously but i always feel better when i'm also taking care of my body physically so i've been keeping up with my teeth whitening i do my teeth whitening every single day um i'm supposed to be doing it for 10 days so today's day number eight i've been doing it every single night i'm taking it very seriously hopefully you guys can tell my teeth are getting whiter i've been doing the crest white strips i also am keeping up with like outfits and like wearing clothes that make me feel good make me feel better about myself not staying my pjs all day which is really easy to do when you work from home i've been getting ready every morning in terms of like makeup and right now i'm not even like wearing foundation or anything but just even simply doing like mascara and eyebrows and putting my hair up in a french braid and you know drying it instead of letting it air dry like it just makes me feel better i feel more myself obviously i don't feel the need to do that every day i don't know why i feel the need to even say that but it's just a disclaimer you don't need that to like be happy it just makes me happy i know it works for me i've been doing my nails i just did my nails i did my own gel nails which i've been doing um it's just so much more inexpensive this is the color baby rose by nail addict and then i did my toes a similar color i don't do gel on my toes but i did olive and june hgc basically the same color it's just not gel um and i've just been really liking this year i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys got motivated to like knock some things off your resolution list live with intentions goodness in your heart and just doing good and better for yourself for other people um, I feel really great. I feel like I wasn't too hard on myself. I don't feel super strict or rigorous with my routines or anything like that, which is something that I really value as I get older. Um, and I just feel really good. So I hope you guys got that energy from me. I hope you guys are able to get some sort of motivation from this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so freaking much. I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's video.